Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of, of Psalms. Psalm 103 is a favorite of many people. It, there are so many things that I could speak of uh, and speak about from this particular psalm, but I've chosen today to look at verse 14. It says here in the English Standard Version, For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. In the New American Standard, they insert a word that says that we are merely or but dust. And, and that's, a, that's true. That's true. It's so very, very important that we remember our frailty and how the Lord sees the frailty of the human condition. That's what this particular psalm is about. This is one written by David, and it has been a very special psalm in many, many people's lives. But one of the things that we need to be conscious of that even though we were created from the dust of the earth and to dust we will return, uh, as we say in a funeral service, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and even though that is true, there is something special about the dust about which we are made or with which we are made. It is a, it is a dust in which God has placed miraculously his own image. And that's so very, very significant. Now, I, I believe that we need to keep in mind the frailty of our, of our condition. I believe that that's what the psalmist here is all about. Um, he remembers that we're not able to do mighty things on our own. But at the same time, we, he, the, the, the psalmist David here reminds us that we are also some people who are very, very special. For earlier he says, as the father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. So our place in God's eye is not like the dust that is, uh, that is on, the, on the streets and on the highways or even the dust that is in our house. There is something special about us. And it's a, it's a dust that is good for us to meditate on and to be conscious of. We need to recognize, as the scripture keeps telling us, that he is the one who's in charge. We sometimes get ourselves all puffed up with our own righteousness and with our own goodness and with our own importance. But we need to remember that he's the one who is most important and that, that all of the accolades that we have, all the wealth that we have, all the talent that we have ultimately comes from him because he's infused into this dust his own image and he's made us a living soul as, uh, as it says in Genesis. So the important thing here that David is trying to tell us is, the, is, the, is our frailty, but combined with that frailty is the importance of who we are. And that's, the, and that's something that we sometimes lose sight of in this generation. We forget that we have an important, um, uh, there's an important quality about us because we're made in the image of God. So there are, there are a number of things that I could say about this particular, uh, in this particular psalm. Of course, the idea of his compassion toward us shows that he recognizes that in this dust that we are, there is something special. He tells us earlier in this particular psalm that we can be uh, dust that is forgiven and healed. And those are, those are very, very good qualities. There is something uh, peaceful about the first few verses of this, uh, this psalm where our dust is able to experience great satisfaction and joy as we serve him. So I invite you, I encourage you, look at yourself, recognize the who you are. First of all, you were created from dust. He's the only one that has given to you any kind of uh, talent, any kind of provision, anything 
that by which we can commend ourselves. He's the one who has done it. But recognize that because he cares for this kind of dust that he has put together, he loves us deeply and desires us to know him better. So I hope you'll do that. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you have made us out of the dust of the earth. But not just out of the dust of the earth like the cattle and like the mountains and like the asphalt and all of that. But thank you that you've infused into us your spirit and you have given to us the grace that we need to walk before you. I pray that we would. I pray that you would help us to keep in balance our dustiness, but our special relationship that, uh, and, and our special abilities that you've given to us. So help us to hold those tightly and to always be conscious of that balance. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.